In today's video, we take a look at a woman who thinks that the aliens took all the real men away, and this man here who refuses to waste his money on her. But before we jump in, please make sure to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon. Um, I don't know, am I getting lucky today? No. Oh yeah, you can just make it separate. Okay, perfect. You're about to waste my time and my money. I need advice. Is this, has this become a new dating rules, dating scene? Because recently I've been on a couple of dates after being off market for nine years. I've been on a couple of dates with guys that expect princess treatment. And I don't know if it's because I'm attracting that or if that's just how men think things are supposed to be these days, but so what happens is we go on a date, everything's great, fine, you know, as first dates, how as well as they can go, basically. Um, I go home, I go about my life, I have a full life, I love my life, and I don't hear from the guy. Fine. Yeah, this is the new reality. And for you to not know it says that you must be living under a rock, or you would have thought that you are the special one and men would treat you differently which now is not the case, and it won't be until women keep living in their deluded world. Three, four weeks later, I get a random call out of nowhere and basically get accused and of not checking in on them, not calling them, not being like, hey, they're just on the phone like, hey, why haven't you called me? Blah, 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 blah. Why aren't you checking up on me? Don't you like me? And I'm just sitting there like, what happened in those nine years? Like, did the aliens come to Earth and swept all the real men off of the planet to repopulate another Earth or something? Like, in that case, please take me as well, because the level of princess treatment that guys expect of women these days is ridiculous. Like, where are your cojones? Where are they? Anyways, please let me know if this is something that only happens to me. And I should go to therapy, which I should, I mean, I, I probably should go to therapy regardless. But if I should go to therapy because I'm just attracting these type of men, or if this is for some fucked up reason now the new dating norm. And the level of princess treatment men have provided women from the beginning of time is beyond ridiculous. And I know you must be kicking yourself for diving back into this hellhole, but what's done is done. Just like this woman who is about to get divorced. My husband gave up on me, and we are right now at the courthouse. Well, I pulled up on him at the courthouse because he want to divorce me. Right? You going to give up? That easy? You don't know, but you up here. Did you fill out the paper? It's like I'm, um, it's like I'm on edge, like. Did you fill out the paper? Can I, can I talk for once? Like, it's like I've been going through so much, like it's, it's, I'm debating, like, should I go with it or should I not? Like, I don't. We debating you up here at the courthouse. This, it looked like you made your decision. I'm just like, why, why are you here? I'm trying to see if why you really you, gonna go are through it. Next to me, cause it's like I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm thinking like. You text me, told me you was getting a divorce. You at the courthouse. I don't know if it's only me, but this woman sounds a little manipulative. And the other thing is, why is she recording herself at a courthouse when she is about to get divorced? I mean, what kind of idiot does that? I pulled up on you, obviously, to stop this from happening. So, are you leaving with me or are you staying here? You could easily be doing this. I could, I'm thinking like, this, this woman, you know, I, should I divorce her or should I stay with her? And, you know, just try to work it out. But it seemed like you ain't trying to, like, get your stuff together. Because, like, I, I don't told you plenty. I don't told you plenty. What are you talking about? I don't in town. Make me get, come on, what made me get arrested? What made me get crazy up here? I done told you plenty of times, like, 
I work, I work, and like come home, I slave, and it's like you don't make me get real for real. But it's like for real. For real. <coughs> Let's go. Um, I don't know. I'm done. You can, you can. Just, just, I, I need some time to think. I need you to, I need, can you just. Can you please just leave? I ain't going nowhere. You could, if, unless you're going with me. Like I have, I have to five o'clock till the man come, till till they come. Depends if I should do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. How you gonna do this? This man sounds like he is tired of her, but still does not have enough courage to make a bold move, which is the reason why she holds so much power in their relationship, and also why his life is miserable, where he isn't even allowed to speak his mind properly. How did you lose your virginity? Was it a good experience, bad experience? Wow. I, had a, I had a good That's experience. That's really personal. Is it? You shouldn't ask questions like well, that. I'm okay with that. Yeah, it's with my first boyfriend. He was yeah. Really Where's he I'm now? Where's he I'm still dating him. Three oh my god, really? Yeah. Congratulations. Almost That's actually years. fucking dope. Yeah. You guys gotta get. Wow, Too look man. at yeah. that. I was yeah, about to say, it. you know, honestly, that's the dream right there. Yeah. Hopefully, I'll end up like you guys one day, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But, uh. You might not, though. I might not? Probably no. not, no. Why not? We're, we have Because really my great boyfriend first is time. like top tier. Like. He's top tier? That's yeah. true. What makes him top tier? Give us some qualities. He's the best boyfriend ever. Why? You gotta explain why. Because he listens to me. Okay. That's amazing. Yeah, exactly. He does everything I want, right? It's a really hard thing for guys. So what, I wouldn't listen. Days. Are you saying that I'm not capable of listening to somebody? Um, <laughs> She's I mean, like, most guys, well, first so. of all, you're shorter than me. So. Okay. Okay. You know, like that's all. Well, who said I'm going for you, though? Huh? Who said I'm gonna go for you? Obviously, I want to go for you because you're taller than me. I mean, like, what? Well, I model, so like a, a lot of people. Okay. Yeah. I don't get where you're going with this. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? I mean, I mean, like, what do you do for a living? What? Her boyfriend needs to see this video and then maybe reevaluate his decisions. Because looking from this side, I don't think she is the one. She is too entitled and controlling, which are not good qualities when it comes to women. I don't have a girlfriend because I know that deep down in my heart, I'm an amazing boyfriend. I really am. I'm amazing at this. I'm so great at it, and that's why I don't do it, because I know that being a great boyfriend is exhausting. Like, it's a lot of work, you know, so that's why I don't do it. <laughs> really, man, it's a lot of work, man. To be a great boyfriend, you gotta, like, you gotta answer questions you don't have the answer to. What are you thinking? <laughs> Nothing. Do you believe that? I'm thinking nothing right now, you know? And they, they don't stop there. It's deeper, existential questions, you know? Questions like, what's wrong? I don't know what's wrong. That's why I'm watching the game.